Hi everyone. So Horace finally moulted probably last weekend. Um, this is me just getting a chance to get the mould out um, safely without disturbing him too much. Um, I don't know if we're going to get a good look at him. He has been in and out of his hide quite a bit. So I finally got the mould out without disturbing him too much. So that's great. Um, so I'm going to do what I usually do. Put it in some lukewarm water with some fairy liquid. I know that there is far too many bubbles in there, so I'm going to scoop some of them out. Um, and what I usually do is I usually keep all my teas malts from the day that I got them. Now, unfortunately, Horace did destroy quite a lot of them, so it's quite hard to. It's going to be quite hard to see the the progression, but. I think this is the first mould since I first got them that's actually intact. So I'll put it in the water um, and that usually takes around 20 minutes and then I'll straighten it all out and then I'll get back to you guys. Here's just a little add-on for you, you guys. Um, Aragog has been a naughty girl again and trashed her water dish. I filled it up today. She tipped up over there and now she's having a little bath. Crazy girl. So everyone, we've finally got Horace's old malt all stretched out and ready to check the leg span. Horace is a confirmed male. Um, I don't know how clear you would be able to see that on camera. But um, yeah, if he's not a male then this would be the malt to check since it is pretty large. But it does need to dry in first before you can actually see anything in there. And the way that to do that would be to check in between the first pair of bookworms, which are these here. These are the bottom pair, so it would be in between the top pair. Um, yeah, so as I said, I do like to keep all my tarantulas molts from the minute I get them, right up till the present moment. Now, Horace is the only one I've got that does chew up quite a lot of his molts. The one bad one that was chewed up in particular was this one. So they, they might not even be in order. Um, but as you can see, when I got Horace, he was absolutely teeny. So it will be... Uh, the good thing is the first molt and the, the most current molt are pretty much intact. So I can check the leg spans on them and see what size he was when I got him. Was that two years ago nearly? Yeah, two years ago in March, I think it'll be, um, until now. So let's have a look. Now, tarantulas do like to chew up their molts because um, they like to get some moisture back. But as I say, Horace is the only tarantula I've got that's done that so far. Um, just a minute, sorry, it's a bit difficult. Sorry about that. It's a bit difficult doing this one handed. Um, so the way to measure the tarantulas from the tip of their first leg to the tip of their last leg diagonally might be a wee bit difficult with this one, but we'll hazard a guess. So he was just under, just under the two inch mark by the looks of things, maybe about an inch and a half here when I first got him. And now, let's have a wee look. So I'm just trying to do this one handed as I say. And then at his last molt is a whopping four and a half inches. So I would I would say that he's maybe about five inches now. I wouldn't say he's grown a lot, but I would say that his legs have got broader and stuff. So yeah, that's awesome. So what I usually do now is I just leave this molt out to dry. Some people like to coat it with a little bit of hairspray I've heard, but I've never done that before. And mine's usually stay quite intact apart from obviously Horace destroying them all. Um, but yeah, that's about it guys. So thanks for watching. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a good look at Horace today because as I said, he is in and out of hiding and he is doing a bit of recovery. And he, he's only really came out because I filled the water dish up today and he came out for a wee drink. Um, and if anybody's wondering why the table's decorated with confetti and stuff, it's my husband's birthday today. <laughs> we usually, we still decorate the house for each other. We're still big kids. Do you know what I mean? It's like 
look at that on the ceiling, balloons and everything. Um, yeah, so he's 29 today as well, so we're both 29. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. See you all later.